Welcome to The Brady Bunch, a classic 1969 TV series that effortlessly weaves humor, shock, and heartache into the fabric of its storyline. Ever wondered what makes this show an enduring symbol of the industry? Or which classic Hollywood actor steals the spotlight for you? As we delve into the funny, shocking, and occasionally somber facts about this beloved series, you're in for a treat. The Brady Bunch not only graced our screens with its sitcom charm, but left an indelible mark on popular culture. Now think about it, who's that classic Hollywood actor you can't get enough of in this series? Before we reveal more, share with us your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV gem in the comments below. We can't wait to hear your stories. So, what makes the Brady Bunch unforgettable for you? What classic Hollywood actor stole your heart? Share your thoughts and memories below and keep watching for more surprising facts. Stay tuned for the next installment, there's more to come. In the vibrant tapestry of television history, one show stands out as a captivating testament to the cultural landscape of the late 1960s. Premiering in 1969, it wasn't just another family sitcom, but encapsulated an era of change, mirroring the evolving dynamics of American society. The show chronicled the lives of a blended family, a novel concept at the time as architect Mike Brady married the lovely Carol Martin, bringing together his three sons and her three daughters under one roof. What set it apart was its relatability, even amidst its idyllic portrayal of suburban life. The challenges and joys faced by the family resonated with viewers, making it more than just a TV series. It became a reflection of the zeitgeist, capturing the essence of an era marked by social upheavals and shifting family structures. Not only did it entertain, but it also contributed to shaping societal perceptions. With its unique narrative and progressive depiction of a blended family, the show challenged conventions, leaving an enduring legacy. Its impact extended beyond the screen, influencing discussions on family dynamics and paving the way for more diverse portrayals in television. As we delve into its world, it's more than a trip down memory lane, it's an exploration of an era that laid the foundation for the diverse narratives we witness today. With humor and heart, it became a cultural touchstone that resonated then and continues to resonate now. The Brady Bunch set, originally used for the detective series Mannix, featured Robert Reed, who played Lieutenant Adam Tobias concurrently with his role as Mike Brady. Both series were produced by Paramount during the 1969-74 period. Robert Reed, a closeted gay man, felt uneasy about romantic scenes with co-star Florence Henderson. The cast kept Reed's sexual orientation confidential until after his death, working around the discomfort during off-camera rehearsals. The Brady kids' wardrobe preferences clashed with producer Sherwood Schwartz's vision. Despite their request for more fashionable clothes, Schwartz declined, anticipating syndication and aiming to avoid dated fashions. Ironically, The Brady Bunch became a quintessential 70s show with its distinctive styles, making it a beloved relic of that era. Alice and Sam are exceptions, maintaining timeless appearances amid the show's dated fashion. Greg Brady, the eldest of the Brady kids, had a notable dating history on the show, yet interestingly, viewers never witnessed him sharing a kiss with any of his dates. The only Brady child to engage in a kissing scene was Bobby, who kissed Melissa Sue Anderson in an episode titled The Brady Bunch, Never Too Young. In 2018, the iconic Los Angeles home used as the Brady family residence hit the market with an asking price of $188 million for its approximately 1 in 200 square feet. Notably, HGTV acquired the property and conducted a substantial renovation during a very Brady renovation. The process featured appearances from all actors who portrayed the Brady children. Eve Plum, Chris Knight, and Barry Williams, known for their roles in The Brady Bunch, later reunited on the Fox sitcom That 70s Show. Plum played Jackie's mom, Pam, a successful businesswoman, while Knight and Williams portrayed a gay couple who moved in next door to the foreman's. These facts offer a glimpse into lesser-known aspects of the beloved 70s TV series, shedding light on behind-the-scenes dynamics, the fate of the Brady House, and unexpected reunions on other iconic shows. Paramount Studios made its foray into television production with The Brady Bunch, marking a shift from its exclusive focus on movies. This move distinguished it from earlier shows like Star Trek and Bonanza, which Paramount acquired through the purchase of DeZillu Productions. 
In the episode where there's smoke, a scene unfolds where Tommy hands Greg an open cigarette carton, reassuring him with, hey, they're just regular cigarettes, man. Ironically, Barry Williams later admitted in his autobiography that he was under the influence of marijuana while filming this very scene. Despite the frequent appearances of the Brady family bathroom on screen, a peculiar detail escaped viewers' notice not once did the show reveal a toilet. The network censors, enforcing a different standard than Leave It to Beaver had 12 years prior, prohibited the depiction of a toilet. The Brady's cleanliness became a running joke, masking the reality of television censorship at the time. These intriguing facets, from Paramount's TV debut to behind-the-scenes anecdotes about on-set choices and censorship challenges, add depth to our understanding of the Brady Bunch. Explore beyond the well-known family dynamics to discover the subtle complexities woven into the fabric of this iconic 70s show. Florence Henderson, Ann B. Davis, and Barry Williams hold the distinction of appearing in all 117 episodes of the series. Robert Reed, except for one episode due to a scheduling conflict, and the six children missing one second season episode each to cut costs. Producers abandoned this cost-saving tactic, fearing it would negatively impact the show's reception. The Brady family's home, situated at 4222 Clinton Way in Greater Los Angeles, with a telephone number mentioned briefly in two episodes, but the specific city or community never disclosed. Robert Reed's disagreement with producer Sherwood Schwartz over a storyline led to his exclusion from the final episode, The Hairbrained Scheme, though he remained on set for filming, declining studio security's offer to remove him in front of the kids. In The Brady Bunch, the show carefully guarded the past of Mike and Carol, never disclosing the names of their previous spouses throughout its run. Even in a very Brady sequel, the only reference to Carol's first husband is made. Meanwhile, a snapshot of Mike's former wife appears in The Brady Bunch, the honeymoon held by Bobby. Following Florence Henderson's passing in 2016, all six Brady kids, Maureen McCormick, Barry Williams, Eve Plum, Christopher Knight, Susan Olson, and Mike Lookinland became the surviving members of the series. Henderson, before her death, was the last surviving adult lead among the three. Throughout the series, Florence Henderson persistently advocated for allowing Carol Brady to enter the workforce, aligning more with Henderson's real-life persona. However, the producers opted to keep Carol unemployed, although she frequently engaged in volunteer work and charity fundraising. Sherwood Schwartz, the creator of The Brady Bunch, initially envisioned Gene Hackman for the role of Mike Brady. However, Hackman's lack of recognition at the time led to the casting of Robert Reed. The collaboration between Schwartz and Reed faced persistent challenges with ongoing disputes over the script quality throughout the series. Schwartz later disclosed that if the show had continued into a sixth season, Reed's character, Mike Brady, would have been written out due to his difficult working demeanor. Beyond the conflicts, the Brady Bunch set found use in other notable series like Mannix, Hawaii 5 Mission, Impossible, and Bug. The interior set's versatility showcased its presence in various productions. The show's behind-the-scenes dynamics, marked by clashes and creative differences, underscored the challenges faced by the production team. Reed's eventual exclusion from the series, had it continued, highlighted the impact of interpersonal issues on the longevity of the show. These insights into casting choices, internal conflicts, and the shared set with other series provide a nuanced understanding of the complexities surrounding the Brady Bunch, offering a different perspective on the iconic 70s show.